Wayne Tower, 9.45 a.m. Tiffany, oh, what are you doing here? Tiffany! Today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but I'm sorry, Bruce. This is for your own protection. Protection? Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Go now! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Gordon, this is all one big mistake. Uh, shut your mouth and stay down! Okay, Don't go on him. Uh, Thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. You lied to me! You need to stand back. Oh, we're gonna have a problem. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect them to be so violent. I just wanted them to get you away from those nut jobs. This is my fault. We will talk about this later. What in the Director Waller? Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now. Very or echoey you'll spend the in rest this of your life as a meter maid. Freaking that office Mr. Wayne is under agency protection and you know it what you've known it for some time Waller and the agency they're not always going to be around to save you Wayne one day you're going to run out of favors to call in and when you do there'll be hell to pay there'll be hell to pay I'm not a criminal Gordon save officers it. please I... oh He's involved. He belongs in a cell. This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will. If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city. Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. <clears throat> no. Excuse me? Gordo you tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller. You can't do this. It's well within my power, and you know it. Waller. I said. Don't do this. Dismissed. Waller, Gordon is a good cop. He's a good man. Don't do this. Not from you. It's the last straw. I won't allow anyone to question my authority. This is strictly professional. Oh, sure. Time to go, Jim. Well, Tiffany, you made it a hell sure of a lot Gordon worse. And be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand how you got tied up in all this. The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing, it's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous. But there's something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but oh. you're just... Bruce. Just Bruce Wayne. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on. I've got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new Batsuit. 
I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. Dad... I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon. It was hard to oh. believe. But hearing it from him... Hmm. Hmm. The truth is, there wouldn't be a bad man without your father. <laughs> he made the suit, the Batmobile, the gear, all of it. Bruce. He set the bar pretty high, huh? With Dad gone... Maybe I can still help, if Batman is interested. It's the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. You'll need the proper training. It's a dangerous job. Whatever it takes, I'm in. That's good to hear. Okay, I need to digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> yes. Let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. A lot a of questions. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or, failing that, to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with Black Ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. If you want them taken out, now's your chance. We know right where they are. It's not that simple. Sanctus Why not? was dangerous then. There's certainly worse now. This whole situation, it's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leaving Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the pact at each other's throats, the agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox. But a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. You two can't be serious. Harley, Bane, Freeze? No, they can't be trusted. We don't have to trust them. We trust you. Look. For now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. But sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. Bodhi Spa, 11.30 a.m. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell mm. the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. Oh. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. Like that one? They have no idea what's coming for them. 
There's no way to tell until I get in there. I'll proceed with caution. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. You know, it's very discreet with his that access door is eyes to just glowing like that. No one's gonna bat an eye. Huh. Project Lotus. Mm. This is definitely the place. Hidden in plain sight. Spa. Good work, Bruce. They weren't exactly being subtle. Anything? Anything this way? There'll be something this way. There's a reason why they made it this long. Oh. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. Is that possible? I feel like your hand would have to be like on the door for a significant amount of time. And then it would like dissipate pretty fast. I think it's unrealistic. In my comic book Batman game. Patron. They're right. heading downstairs. The real lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing what? to let these Ooh. criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. Hmm, I don't like that expendable is one of your two favorite adjectives. And dangerous, you know, sure, fine. But you don't need expendable. Looks like we have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. I see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. Mm. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now, why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley. Carefully uh. inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. I could ask you the same. Oh, I'm not skulking. I have a very deliberate purpose. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, yes. determined. No, as I'm always determined. In a sense, you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. 
Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best, to be honest. Lies insult us both. This is it. The black site Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. <laughs> Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD in an alleyway with the other rats. Are you suggesting you something? Duplicitous position. Duplicitous? We have a mole problem. Well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Oh, wake up? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Rice and shine. Oh, oh God. <sighs> Old five points. Six thirty p.m. Oh, I pity what you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the black site. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Uh, Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Hmm. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. Uh, yeah, it's totally it not. Is, huh? I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. Oh! Uh, you know, party funeral. You, Wayne? Everyone's Rat getting... Has been uncovered. Getting buried. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. He had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane, tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. Uh, popsicle makers? You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Uh, uh, I don't have much of a choice. Okay. If you insist. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him, betrayed him, he ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy, take no apologies, that sort of thing. Gotta keep my cover. You need to keep your people in line. Sometimes that means making hard choices. <laughs> such a pretty way of saying killing a person. Oh yeah, of and course. And taking you for such a ruthless fella. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Isn't that what I told you in the car? Story I should know. Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? I also enjoy long walks on the beach. Hmm. <laughs> You're funny. Must have gotten that from your mother's side. You know my dad could be a funny guy too. Is do you like your dad? Is that is that a good thing? To the deep to drown to the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe. Like nothing could hurt me. You know, that was kind of a magic trick. You use like you have a nice voice. Light colored <laughs> might want to get those pigment. ears checked, Brucey. Once left of them. And then made dark black diamonds. But it's nice to know I have a fan. 
Been running short of those lately. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. Yeah, okay. But exactly. you actually care for some people. Like that girl John told me about. What's her face? Uh, Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh faced and optimistic. How am I doing? Are you threatening her? Oh, take it down a notch, Wayne. Your friend is safe. It's your job to keep her that way. Yeah. Friends are great, except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. Oh, what are you? Yeah, oh, what? Shaka, we have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place, except maybe one or two. So, gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared you and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you must have missed something. Catwoman and I are loyal. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take your word for it. Oh, thanks. That's Spoiler pretty easy. Alert. Oh, I ain't taking your word for it. John, get in here. When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. Interrogate? I gave him some pointers. Me? Now, this is his chance. Sounds Hi, fun. Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Oh. Harley, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, rat scum. You're the... <laughs> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Do it again. What? Hit me again. Take that. <laughs> You're hitting him already. Huh. I'll let it play. <sighs> wanted it to come to this but we both know what has to be done do we Catwoman has to take the fall uh. think about it Bruce Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you and who knows if she'll stop there there is no scenario where we are letting that happen I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction but this is the only way out the only way that keeps you alive did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. I internally. Oh, okay. You no, know, Harley. She's not a mind reader. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. I gotta guess it was Catwoman. I went to the safe, but it was already gone. And you were right there talking to Harley, so... I know you care about her, but... Yeah. All right, time's up. Oh, Perfect. God. Because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin'. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead. Bruce. Okay. Just like we talked about. Please. It was me. It was I can't me. do it. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you. Of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. 
Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. Yeah, I'm trying to play it as like, you know, Catwoman is always Batman's foil. You know, he just he just can't help but to help her. Well, Bruce, it's been fun. Bane, get him inside. <clears throat> You can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? And I hope you rot in hell. Oh, so much fire. Might want to save that heat for later. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. He's, he's my best friend. Aw, oh, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica. Well, ain't this a sticky wicket, dude? But after all that build up with Catwoman, you know, I stab her in the back, you know, she would never forgive me, even though she probably would. But, uh, oh, you and 70.4% of players did something that will make Waller furious. She felt miffed when you didn't accept her apology with the convoy. She felt superior when you pushed back against her desire to the vil to use the villains in the Black Sight raid. She will be furious that you gave up your cover. You and 70.4% of players left Harley feeling deceived. She was unconvinced by your defense that you weren't the mole. She felt justified when you told her you agreed sometimes people need to be dealt with. She felt deceived when you confessed to having been the mole all along. You and 87.6% players left Tiffany feeling honored. She felt valued when you took the time to let her apologize and explain her actions. She felt honored that you let her in on your Batman secret. You and 52.1% of players left Selena feeling horrified. She was grateful that you warned her about, uh, warned her and helped her evade the GCPD. She felt honored that you let her see your bat game. <laughs> anyway, when you gave yourself up to protect Selena, she felt horrified watching what happened to you. She was worried that you might die. That's good. It's good. Oh, you and seventy point four percent of a lot of seventy four, seventy point four percent of players left John feeling guilt-ridden. He took to heart your advice to be genuine. He felt sorry for letting his hero, letting down his hero when he couldn't retrieve the laptop. Because you sacrificed yourself to protect your friends, he feels guilt-ridden. You and 90.2% of players left Gordon feeling remorseful. He was annoyed when Catwoman invaded him and the GCPD. He was frustrated when you tried to resist arrest. Because of what you said after Waller fired him, he feels a little remorseful about trying to arrest you. And then you and 61.4% of players warned Catwoman. She evaded the GCPD and stole Harley's laptop before John. Uh, you and 64.5% of players coached John to be himself, and he told you about his time in Arco. Mm. You and 82.4% of players told Tiffany your secret. 
You and 82.6 of players took the fall and were left in one of Mr. Freeze's cryo chambers to die. Look at that. A majority episode all around. Ah, and I guess there's no uh, next time on. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Telltale's Batman Season 2, otherwise known as Enemy Within, Episode 3, Fractured Mask. What could possibly happen in the ex next episode? Who knows? But, I hope to see you there. Until then, bye-bye.